This is how you work with formula that's outside your pivot table. In this example, this is my pivot table. Let's say if I want to add the values in this row for 2022 plus 2023 and hit enter, you can see it prints the correct value of 10,045. The way to validate would be to highlight this two cell here. You can see that the sum at the bottom matches my formula. Now, if you apply the same formula for the rest of the row by dragging your fill handler, it produces an inaccurate value. The reason for that is if you look at your formula, this get pivot data function actually references the fixed cell value. So that's why it's not working. Let me show you how you can get around this. First, place your cursor anywhere on your pivot table and then go to pivot table analyze on the ribbon on the pivot table. You're going to click on this guy here. Options, going to click on pull down and then you're going to disable this generate pivot uh, get pivot data like that. If you look at it, there's no more check mark there. Once that's done, now you can start using equal 2022 plus 2023. As you can see, there's no absolute reference on this cell. Hit enter. And now if you apply the same formula right across every row, it produces the correct value.